Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next episode of The 100. This is Season 7, Episode 6 of the final season titled Nakara. So, first things first, before we hop into everything, um, I just want to kind of like clarify some things. I do like what we're doing with the show, but the thing is, it is a little too complicated. It's more complicated than it ought to be. If we're being real, I mean, it is the final season, so I didn't expect it to be so complicated, for the lack of a better word. Like, I get that we're, we're, we're like, going hardcore into the sci-fi angle, and it's, 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 it's interesting, but I feel like for the final season, I think we should just focus on something, like, a little bit more simple, like, rebuilding our society and whatever, but now that we have this anomaly and time jumps and... Things are not as it seems, and it's like betrayals, and this and that. Now we have the disciples, the last war, the, the Earth, well, wh whatever, we'll ever fight. Clark's the key. <laughs> Fuck. It's just, there's a lot to unpack, and in the last episode, it appeared that we we're like in full swing now, story-wise, because while this, the season started out kind of like re-establishing re everything, it was just kind of like, okay, you know, we, we had our, our good moments. We had some moments that were kind of like focused on our characters. And while we set up a lot of interesting stuff, I think what I'm more interested in is the Dark Commander stuff, to be honest, if we're being real. I think I'm more interested in that than anything that has to do with the Anomaly or the Disciples or whatever, because... I'm just like this. We have, like, how many episodes left? There's, like, seven, eight, maybe. And we're, like, we have to, like, f somehow care about this, <laughs> about the disciples and whatever. And I just, I don't know. I just don't really. I mean, the bad guy is, is cool. I know the actor. He's he's a solid guy. He's usually a bad guy. Um, Anders. I don't know. I forget what the actor's name is, though. But he's pretty good. But, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's just a lot, it's, it feels like a mixed bag. It feels like a mixed bag. And that, that doesn't necessarily mean it is. I still am enjoying the show, but it's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. And, I don't know. But we'll see what goes on, because apparently Bellamy is dead. I don't believe it. Um, I feel like that explosion or whatever, he somehow went into whatever the portal and is somehow saved and we'll find that out later on wherever he is uh but for now echoes be pretty damn pissed going forward what else is going on i would actually had to go back and take notes because i'm like holy shit what is going on in the show at this point but i actually had to write down like some of the plot points just to kind of like get myself back into it but yeah the disciple stuff uh, the, the more i just keep reading about it the disciple stuff is probably like my least favorite aspect of it i mean i like hope i like what we did with that auntie O. you know what i mean like that's cool but i feel like the disciples and all of that i'm just like eh, whatever but let's just hop in have a good time discuss this afterwards but before i do i do want to remind you guys patreon for the full length uncut unedited reactions as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel as well as exclusive reactions so if anything if you're seeing this on youtube right now we're probably finished with the entire show so Patreon is the place to go if you'd want to just avoid all the weight. Of course, if you can't support me over there, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time, discuss it afterwards. All right, guys, here we go. Nakara, whatever that is. See, this stuff is cool, but I'm just like, I don't know. What's up, Dioza? I guess we're gonna be jumping back and forth again. Eyes forward. Do that again, and that scar in your uniform's gonna be in your head. Oh, okay, so she's still pregnant. We are going back. Really? Oh, that guy's dead. We can't read her like this. She's using pain to block her memories. Oh God. This one we have to break. Oh. Don't. I have to release you. I'll release you. Uh-huh. Thanks. Ah! God damn! I mean... Oh, 
You are. Dioza. I mean, maybe she can turn this around. Ugh, God. Okay, well. Don't turn, look back. This could be good because of Dioza. I'll just be completely honest. It'll be good because of Dioza. If it is. Dude, I'm breaking on a Mesa and Jack Fire gun down. Indra, we need Who? To talk. Time? Is it the Allegis 3 prisoners? Oh, no, I... Why is the prisoner out of his cell? You are being relieved. Go now. Well, that's probably part of the plan, right? What did they talk about? Nothing much. Unless I was curious about Earth, that's all. You were authorized to shut him up. Okay. And that guy looks familiar, too. You are my prisoner. You have no rights. You will not speak to my guards. And you will not so much as look at them without my permission. Do you understand? Mm okay. The moment you stop being useful, I will kill you myself. <laughs> so you keep saying, bad time to lose track of all those guns. I hear things. That is what you're really afraid of, isn't it? That they'll follow me. Over Clark, probably. I would be too. If I was you. Mm. Got under her skin. Oh, me! Atmosphere breathable? Well, that's good to know. If these people could choose any world for a home, it wouldn't be this one. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Cold, you mean? Cool. Get it? According to the computer, stones near those rocks. There's something buried in the snow here. Well, your fancy helmet didn't pick that up? It's a body. I've seen that symbol before. Let's find that stone and get our friends back. What do you do? Just pass out because of the cold? Just lay down and died? such wimps. Well, you have the magic helmet. Without that, we'll see how brave you are. Are you really doing this? I feel like this is dangerous. Is it me or is it warm in here? It's not you. This would be my nightmare. Uh, are we gonna see an alien? There's an opening up ahead. What the fuck? Anyone else hear that? No. I sure did. Well, Raven, use your magic helmet and tell us what that is. Fuck. What was that? Raven, why are you stopping? Oh my god. What is that? No! Oh my god. It's like destroyed your helmet. Raven, are you okay? Yeah, but the helmet's destroyed. It's gone. There was only one? I doubt that. Towards that thing? We don't have a choice. We've gotta to get to the stone. I'm guessing we're gonna fall into a nest or something. We should go back, right? There might be more of them. Yeah. What? We're not going that way anyway. Come on. Acid? Go Still think aliens are awesome? Yeah. It would be cool if we had like flares or something. Because usually bugs and shit don't like fire or bright light or something. Oh, I'm not gonna like this, am I? Our guns were stolen. I need your help getting them back. Stir a cockroach. There was a break in last night. Once a convict, I was mm. a convict. Is that it? I just want to know if you've seen anything or heard anything. I heard you have blood alteration. Nah, damn. Raven knew exactly what she was doing when she sent my people down there to die. Maybe she should die. For I mean... What do you think? Sound like justice to you? What do you want? An equal say. My husband. Back. Okay, well that's not possible. Just say you want an equal oh, say. Raven, I, said. Bang, bang. I can't hate her for saying that. Raven, you're in trouble. You made an enemy, okay? And I like Raven, so... I mean, I like Raven. It's, it's alright. She's alright. She's kind of annoying this season, but we'll see. God damn. Nope. Oh. oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're lucky that didn't kill her. 
You could have killed her! Just don't move this way. Yeah, that goes a little salty. Let's go. What's wrong with her? Bellamy. Bellamy's dead. I feel like he's gonna kill you. You're getting too close, too cocky, talking too much. He's gonna do some crazy karate, whatever the fuck. Here we go, music swelling up. Yep, here we go. Oh shit. Oh damn, damn, he's good. All right, this is when you stop. I'm not Russell. How's that possible? Sit. Who are you? Yeah. Someone <sighs> will give you what you want. And the fact that he knows now, it's gonna be, they're gonna start chaos. And that's gonna force Indra's hand. I want justice! You can't get justice without power. One crew is weak. They have no leader. You and the prisoners share an enemy. Perhaps even some of the mm. Some mm. of the murderers and thieves want justice. This is cool. The shade hate. See, this is this is what I like about the season. Like a lot. You take out the enemy's queen. Maddie or Clark? Oh shit, Clark. You know what? I never actually... Will Clark die? I feel like... I feel like the, the show has to end with her death somehow, right? She'll live on. Like her legend live on or whatever. It's a dead end. There's no way She'll left. sacrifice herself, make the ultimate sacrifice. We backtrack. Find another way. I hate this place. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, where'd they go? Clark! Raven, where'd they go? What? What? What is going on? Just do like walls like closed in on them? Or? Well, just moved. Yeah, wait, what? It shifts somehow? Clark, help me push it. it. It's not shifting ground. Clark, this isn't a cave. What is it? Uh, we're inside something? Organism. What? The cave is collapsing. This is no cave. What? So we're inside something stomach? How do we do that? We just walked right into an open mouth? <laughs> what? Is something sleeping like this? How do we just walk right inside? I feel like Wait. this is a fake out. Yeah. It's Levitt. Let her go. I love you. Go through the oxygen farm. There's a door on the far side. Stairs that'll take you to the surface. Now punch me again and run. God damn. <laughs> we run. Medic. I need to speak with you. I'm failing my mission. Sanctum is on edge. The attempt on Russell's life, that's nothing compared to what I fear comes next. You yeah, need a leader. Maddie, I don't want this for you. But there are forces at play here that are greater than our wants. Responsibilities we must yield to. I mean, she's like, well, can I play soccer first? Damn. How do you do it? Whatever happens, Clark Griffin does a break. That's not true. I killed four people in the nuclear reactor. I ate more later that night for good measure, and my soul was cracked up. You can just come along like a finely tuned engine. <laughs> Death ain't no thing. She's like, I killed two people just right now. Hey, the people we've killed, we've killed to save the people we love. That doesn't, it doesn't end here. You're a good person. Maybe the best I know. I could have watered those pipes myself. Yeah, why didn't you? But instead I sent Hatch and his people to die. I was afraid. But you had the blood alteration. Nothing would have happened to you. Arr! Raven. This is mega for even Clark's like, ugh. <laughs> okay. It's coming back. Maybe it'll throw you up. If you keep shooting into it. Whatever you do, don't get shitted out. How about you find us a planet with a beach? Preferably one that doesn't eat people. I'm on it. Not a weird ass planet. Indra. We just heard Wong Ku is gathering at the request of the commander. What are you doing? I can do this. And you look at her, she's terrified. Maddie, come to the water, clear our crew. You were born for this. Indra, I will cut you down. Do it. 
cut me down because that's the only way I'm letting this kid go in there. I'm sorry. God damn it. Indra, what is it? Shade Hater. Shade Hater's consciousness disappeared into the computer. From there, it jumped into the, the mind drive. drive. So how did it jump into it? Like just like Wi-Fi or what? Was there a hotspot, a blue, a Bluetooth hotspot? I mean, how did it just jump into a mind drive? One group will know Shade Hater is back. You really think that they'd follow him? I've seen it before. That's why we need Maddie. No, that is why we need you. Uh, you may have seen it before. That doesn't mean it'll happen again. Even though it probably will. History does repeat itself. The fact that you don't want it, it's why you should do it. I mean, Indra, she's, she's wise and she's like, has experience. Really's watch? No. I'm not watching. <laughs> not be like head on no more. Josh, but you and you know him for your seal, get them in. He's right on, not be like head on, but no trip you up. I so hit you up. Because I will kill you. Oh, buddy. Ooh! Should just kill him right now. Oh, okay. Jose got up from Fallout. Come, bunker. On wing out on Skyfire. On knock up at a hole. Be like, how's us here? I'll take us down. I'm also space out going down. Night. It on our you. Yes, claim us fire gun. And come on out there. I think when they told us to do this, it wasn't survival. Oh! You really killed him? Damn! I still might need love it on the inside. I trust love it. Let's go. I can't let you risk it. Come on, man. What are you doing? What the fuck? I surrender. Why would he do that? Any change? Look familiar. Yeah. The second dawn. Oh, what? The second dawn? Is that what's his name? Cadigan or Cardigan? Whatever the fuck his name was. Before Prime Fire, like the 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 bunker we we tried to, like the twelve seals or some shit. That's kind of interesting. So how did the second dawn get here? I thought second dawn was before, like the very first prime fire, right? How did they get here? Maybe they're like descendants or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's a neat idea, though. Oh my god! Why is it just cut like? All right, guys. So that was uh, the 100 season seven episode six titled Nakara. That was a pretty good episode. Not even gonna lie, that was a pretty good episode. Um, yeah. So things are getting a little bit more interesting now that we're kind of like connecting the dots a little bit. We're bringing back the second dawn now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the second dawn like the group of like Doomsday? That was like a Doomsday cult or something. I remember Jaha was looking up something. He had like an iPad and it was like telling the story. Of the second dawn by led they're like led by this guy named Cadigan or Cardigan or uh something like that. And there's something to do with the seals. They found a bunker, they went inside, but it wasn't properly like secured or some shit. And everyone in there died anyway. So what I'm I guess what I'm trying to figure out is how did how are they even how did they manage to go to get from from Earth? To wherever that planet was. I forget what planet they said. Like the ice world or whatever the fuck. Where there's a, a cave that eats you or something. How did they get there? Because the technology that we have right now. That gives us like free reign to jump from world to world or whatever. That feels more like a futuristic thing. But the way the second dawn like when they were like kind of positioned in their own timeline, it seemed like modern times, like today, today, you know what I mean? Like what it would be like today before the world ended before Allie did her thing, et cetera, et cetera, you know? So 
I'm just wondering how does that connect? It's a cool idea because I'm just now thinking, why does any of this matter? Like the disciples and all that. Now I'm just like, okay, we're connecting some dots here. Now, I don't know if it was supposed to be obvious because I, I, I didn't call it like at all. In fact, I didn't even give the second dawn another thought after we moved on from that plot line, to be honest. But the fact that we're actually kind of going back and kind of like revisiting a plot line like that for the final season, it feels good. It, it's, it feels more natural instead of um, introducing all new characters, all new whatever bullshit, because it's hard to get over um to to get new characters over with the audience especially in the final season because you just want to just um let the good times roll more or less you know just follow the story see your heroes be heroes see your villains be villains see the good guys win or whatever in the end but and then the fact that we're just throwing in all this new stuff it, it kind of derailed the story just a little bit but now that we are connecting this with the second dawn or whatever it's kind of putting things back on track, at least for me. Um, now, in terms of the story and where we are character-wise, I, I think I believe like what Octavia is saying like, uh, about trusting Levitt. I trust Levitt, too, because I feel like there's something there between Levitt and Octavia. Now, I don't know if that's just me like just shipping everything because it's the CW, it's the 100, and... You know, they got to, like, tease some sort of romance to kind of keep the teenage girls happy who watch the show. But I don't know. I feel like there's something there. And I don't think he's lying to her. I don't feel like he would, like, deliberately put Octavia in danger. You know what I mean? Because I feel like he, he likes her. So, whatever. I think the next episode we're going to kind of, like, figure out maybe Bellamy is not dead. Or we'll find... We'll get, like, a concrete answer... One way or another, whether he is dead or not, I'm guessing he's not. But we're just going to kind of like keep guessing just to kind of like, um, I don't know, keep the drama or ramp up the drama, I should say. But yeah, Echo's not taking it well. She's very pissed. She killed that that, that, that sweet old man who was just like picking flowers. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, that sucks. And of course, Octavia basically got him killed. Saying, like, oh, but Levitt said. And it's like, well, you just gave away our inside man. <laughs> so, yeah, we had to kill him. Because then what is he going to say? It's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> by the way, Levitt's helping the, the guys. And they went through uh, the whatever area. So, next episode should be really good. I'm about to hop into that in just a bit. But, yeah, this, this episode kind of put everything back on track. Now, I'm still a little concerned about the whole anomaly plotline but the shade hated stuff is really good i like what we're doing there with russell now that he kind of like recruited nelson a little bit um nelson knows the truth which is problematic he needs the guns he wants more supporters to rally to his cause while Indra's kind of trying to make peace with knight and his people trying to like get one crew collectively together because everyone's trying to build up their army because there's a, an eventual war that's going to happen. And I don't know if it's supposed to be the war that's foretold from the prophecy or whatever that Anders keeps saying, or that the disciples keep bringing up the war, the last war that mankind will ever fight is Clark. The key to that war is that war somehow connected to um, Indra versus, uh, uh, Shade Hata. Is that going to be the final war? Is Clark the key to that war? Is that the war we're talking about? I don't know, but I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm like back on board with the series right now. It was a little jumbled last episode. Not going to lie. While it was good, there was just too much going on. I'm glad that we slowed it down some and we kind of just let the characters breathe some without just throwing all this stuff at the wall and hoping the audience just picks it up, like, you know, uh, absorbs it like a sponge. But good episode nonetheless. Indra's now in charge. Can't wait to see her uh, kind of take Wan Crew and hopefully stop Shade Hata. But yeah, we're, we're about to reach the, the second half of the season. And yeah, we'll see what happens with Maddie. We'll see what happens with Wan Crew. 
Nikki is still has a grudge. I don't know what Knight is going to do with that. I feel like Nikki is entitled to what she wants or entitled to some sort of compensation because Raven did uh, uh, screw over her people. Raven basically threw them to the wolves knowing that they were dead, taking the job. Um, so, and Murphy wasn't going to be harmed. It, it's just a city, shitty situation. And I think even I brought it up in the episode where I'm just like, what is Raven even doing? You know what I mean? So it just felt weird seeing Raven just kind of just slack jawed, like, eh, maybe I should help, but I don't know. I'm, I need to watch this or whatever. And then all of a sudden, now it's confirmed Raven was scared, but nothing was going to happen to you. So you willingly sacrificed not just your friend, friend, but strangers, you know what I mean? That's just evil, you know what I mean? I feel like that's evil. You could have done this without any real consequence, but you opted to send other people to their death, even your own friend, who luckily didn't die because they had the same blood alteration as you. That's evil. I don't know. I like Raven and all, but that was an evil act. And then, of course, she's going to go to Clark and be like, huh? How, how do you just go along with uh, just killing people and just being all ho-hum about everything? You know what I mean? And Clark's just like, oh, you know, it just gets easier every time. So it's all good. Of course, that's like the worst person to kind of like connect with. Like, how oh, do you just get over all the killing? Ah, I just kill some more. Who cares? Um, but yeah, that's good shit nonetheless. Can't wait to see what happens next. And I think I'm just kind of there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, guys want to see this episode with me, in its entirety, the options available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, go support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of The 100 from Season 7, Episode 7 of the final season. Until then, adios. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.